Yo, bro, 50 v 50 or sorry, 50 is default galore. Trust me, he probably just worked up enough materials to get this. Hi, I would like uh one soda. Oh, look. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yo. Damn. I didn't need to dance on it. That was actually kind of horrible. Yo, we're back out here with some more Fortnite real quick. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest ways to unlock the max tier or max outfit for the two customizable skins that are in the season six battle pass, which are the Calamity and the Dire skin, which is the tier 100 skin in this game, which for the final tier you get this thing like <laughs> now but essentially this is going to be telling you guys like how to get the most amount of xp possible in like the fastest ways possible as well because if you don't know and you're completely unaware the way you actually unlock the outfits for these different skins and for these customizable skins is actually xp you guys can see this is the calamity one right here this is basically like the drift of season six if you know what i'm saying it's like the first kind of customizable skin in the battle pass and you need 200 000 xp to get the final outfit obviously starting at 20k working its way up and honestly it's not it seems pretty difficult i barely played and i've already got 10k so if you guys follow these tips and these will definitely help you out and that's not only for the calamity that's also for the dire skin that i was talking about to get that werewolf this one obviously is going to be a little bit difficult i'm pretty sure you guys can see in the right it shows you how much xp you need for each different tier and i'm pretty sure the final one is 250k xp which actually compared to the previous season i believe isn't actually that bad because i'm pretty sure the last season the final skin which was the ragnarok correct me if i'm wrong but i i think you need 500k i'm pretty sure you need to find with your game i definitely could be wrong but if you guys follow these tips this will definitely help you out but before we get into this make sure you smash like button on this video real quick let's see how many likes we can get and also if you are new around here yo we're getting closer to 100k like for real we're getting mad close if you can help me out make sure you subscribe to the channel man <laughs> Right, let's get into these tips man now i'm gonna go with like the worst one probably out of all of them what this will probably help the most but it's the one that you don't want to hear and it's the fact that getting higher up in the battle pass tiers or you know like at this point in the game buying the tiers will probably help you level up and get xp a lot faster in fact it will help you get xp a lot faster and therefore you know unlock the outfits unlock the max outfits a lot faster as well and the reason for that is you guys can see at the bottom of my character right here i'm pretty sure i'm telling you guys something that you already know at the bottom of my character is 60 percent plus xp boost and the reason for that is because i'm tier 30 and i can't remember like what tier you have to get to once you get to certain milestones in the battle pass you'll start getting different xp boosts i'm pretty sure it goes up by like 10 or maybe 5 but as you guys can see right here i got a 10 percent xp boost for tier 2 there's one for 9 if you keep going across you'll keep finding them 10 again for 17 you'll keep finding them all the way over i'm pretty sure the final one and the max xp boost you can get up to is 120 percent xp boost which clearly will help you out because you'll be getting like more than double like you'll be getting like, a lot more xp trust me and that will help you out to get in the tiers so i mean obviously if you don't really want to buy the tiers which i'm personally not this season and you can easily just you know play a lot which you know is gonna get you the tiers anyway you know what i'm saying it's gonna get you the outfits anyway but you know what i'm saying like the more tiers you go up will help you with the xp boost and therefore will help you with the outfit <laughs> Alright, next one, and this kind of links into the previous one as well, but this will help you guys out for those of you guys that don't actually want to buy the tiers and all that different stuff. So this is a little bit of a nice one, and it's the challenges. Now, the challenges you guys can see on the left, right here, you got daily challenges and you got suggested challenges. You get rewards for them. Now, most of them are pretty easy, if I'm being real, but you get rewards, 500 XP, you get five battle stars. Battle stars go towards your tier. So, you know, if you get a certain amount of battle stars, you'll go up to the next one. And the reason why you should do these challenges, not even just for the tiers, you know what I'm saying, just so you can get those XP boosts, which will help towards that. But it's also for the XP that you get like daily challenges do help a lot that 500 xp can go a long way you know what i'm saying because again the outfits that you need to get is my ragnarok one i've not even completed it i barely played but you guys can see though with me barely playing how much xp i got with a calamity right here again it's just xp but 500 xp would take me pretty much towards 11k and if you just play every day do those daily challenges you'll be getting a lot more xp as well as the battle pass tiers to get you that xp boost it all helps out a lot trust me <laughs> Now, it's also important to mention as well i'm pretty sure you'll still be able to do these challenges once the season is over i just want you guys to know that i didn't actually clarify that in my last the last time i did this video for the last season i didn't actually talk about this but i'm pretty sure like you guys can see with my ragnarok one it's carried over from the previous season into this one so i can finish it off so i'm pretty sure it'll be the same with these ones as well so if you don't manage to get the max tier outfits you'll still be able to do it but that's obviously only if you unlock the actual skin if you get to the tier where you unlock the skin you know what i'm saying all right, the next tip which is also pretty interesting which you'll notice by looking at 
that the actual battle pass is playing with friends and not just any normal friend particularly if you got a friend that i don't know has maxed out the battle pass like bought all the tears that would definitely help you know they got like a high xp boost and the reason for that is you guys will see right here this one is important five percent friend xp boost and basically what this allows it grants a boost to the amount of xp your friend gets as well that's playing with you so i mean there's one right there that's for five percent but there's probably more yeah there's another five percent right there there's more as you go on into the battle pass so if you're playing with someone that's brought like a high tier you'll be granted a lot more xp because they've got these friend boosts you know what i'm saying so for example if you're playing with someone who's got like the max tiers got all those friend boosts all that different stuff if you're playing with those i don't know duos whatever you're playing in you will get more xp from that so if you play with people it benefits you as well do you know what i'm saying rather than just playing solos even if they're like the, a low tier just like me it will still help you out just a little bit <laughs> Finally, another main tip that I've got for you guys real quick to help you rank up your tiers faster, to help you get those outfits faster for the Calamity and the Dire. You just need to get wins. Now, basically how it works in terms of XP per match, I'm pretty sure like the longer you're in the game, the more kills you get, the more like challenges you do, all that different stuff, you'll obviously get more XP, which is why I've come to the conclusion that playing like squads or 50v50, particularly 50v50, because it's a lot easier to get wins or even soaring 50, same thing. If you play these, it's a lot easier to get kills and it's a lot easier to get win wins gives you a bonus for xp kills obviously give you xp and these are a lot easier to do in sorry 50s and squads which is why a lot of people to get xp just legit sit in 50 for 50 you know for a long time because it is quite a while i think it lasts a little bit longer than normal games i could be wrong with that but obviously you will get more xp like the longer the game lasts or at least the longer you survive in the game so if you're playing squads you're able to get like a lot more kills you're playing 50 for 50 it's not like you, you basically you're almost guaranteed a win to be honest you're playing that and you're also guaranteed to like get a lot of kills as well which does increase the amount of xp you get which is why i'm gonna hop into some sorry 50s for this video it gives me an excuse so i don't have to sweat in solos Leave me alone. also i feel as if this is like very important to mention tips i've mentioned i'm not saying it's like every single tip you know what i'm saying if you guys like have got a good idea on how you can get xp fast and i haven't mentioned it in this video feel free to let us know in the comments down below like for real i'm not acting like i know everything trust me just if you got any tips let me know i might pin one of you guys to the top if it's like an idea that i haven't even heard before so definitely do that but yo let me know what you guys are thinking of season six man honestly it's probably the best season since maybe season three or season four one of the two i'm not sure man but definitely a lot better than the last season season four Five was tragic in my opinion that is but i feel like a lot of people do agree like it wasn't definitely was not the best of seasons at all in my opinion like it was just all confusing man like, i had no idea what was going on the skins were terrible as well like the entire battle pass was pretty dead like realistically it just wasn't a good season at all but you know people still played it it's not ideal it's just it's, it's just good that wait yeah, you can take all that stuff, my man. I'm just happy that this one's a lot better, man. I really am. I'm just happy this one's definitely a lot better. It, it, you, know, you know it's a bad season. Let me tell you how you know it's a bad season. You know it's a bad season when you don't see anyone rocking the Ragnarok. Like, when I see someone rocking the Ragnarok, usually, when it's like a max tier skin, you're supposed to be scared. You know what I'm saying? If someone's pushing you with a max tier skin, man, you're supposed to be petrified. But if you're not, it doesn't have the same effect. You know what I'm saying? And the Black Knight, the uh, John Wick, that's who I'm talking about. Bro, John Wick, if you see him pushing you, you sh you're going to be scared. You know what I'm saying? But Ragnarok, not as much. Yeah, it's just not, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't quite have the same effect, man. Hey, yo. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Yo, hello. I'm trying to find some people, man. That's all I want to do. If you could take a wild guess, where would you say absolutely everyone is? Heh. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yo, it's deep when you got like, yo, their team is dying quickly. Oh. is this lag bro you shot my kill bro i keep getting my kills taken
But it's like the worst part of Sorry 50s, but you're with like barely anyone left and you're searching for the final people. Later. Yo, bro. 50 v 50 or sorry 50 is default galore trust me he probably just worked up enough materials to get this get it bro oh look look wow <laughs> yo i feel kind of bad damn I didn't need to dance on him. That was actually kind of horrible. It's very rare that you run into someone good in Soaring 50s. Look at that. Another default. I probably won't hit this shot, but... Oh! That was a decent shot, too. Alright, anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys got the idea. You know, it's mad easy to get XP. Just survive the whole game of 50 v 50. Get, you know, a decent amount of kills, and you're good. You'll get a lot of XP. Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with 4 I just pulled up me a A. Real nigga all in my face. 500 rats in my safe. 500 rats to the plug. What you know about showing love? What you know about pulling up? And been the chug. 